making two. Okay, so Kerry's making her nan bread. So she's put a teaspoon of sugar in each one, and she's put yeast in each one. Which is? How much yeast did you put in? Two teaspoons and a fourth. Okay, and you've got some warm water too Half there. a cup. Half a cup of warm water. And that's it. Okay. I'm making two lots, so... So she's going to make two lots today, double it up. And freeze it. And then we'll have some, and then we'll freeze some. So this has got to sit, leave it for 15 minutes. I've got to do two cups and one fourth. Whoops, a bit more doesn't matter. And one fourth. Now I'm using my mixer because I'm making too much today. I tend to do it by hand. Oh, that finished that one off. Okay, one tablespoon of oil. It's optional, you don't have to put it in if you want, if you don't want to, because but last time I forgot to add the oil. So half a cup of yogurt. On the recipe it says natural yogurt, but we've just had vanilla yogurt, that's what we've used, and it works perfect. Now I'm actually adding garlic powder. I'm just putting the amount in that I think, but however strong is on it. And then I'm just putting a big handful of shredded cheese in there. Oh, a little bit more. I like them cheesy. So now I'm adding the yeast. And that's it. And I'm using the KitchenAid, but I'm only going on to two of those. So after about 10 minutes, this is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, and then just leave it like that, cover it, and let it sit for about an hour. Okay, so these have been left for an hour now, so now she's just going to... So now she's going to roll them up and flatten them for her nan bread. Okay, so we're going to just start barbecuing them now. So just put the hot plate on, just put a bit of oil on, and then these don't take don't take long at all. I'll give that I don't know maybe a minute if that. Flip it, put a bit of oil on just to make sure it doesn't stick or nothing. So I've just flipped this one. So as you can see, it's got another one going there. Okay, so I'd say this one's just about, this one's done now, I'd say. So, nice and brown. This one we've just put on. This one I've just turned. Yep, not quite ready yet. Beautiful. Okay, so once you've got your hot plate pretty warm, turn it right down to fairly low, because they don't take long to cook once the hot plate gets really warm. So... 
as you can see. So that's the cheese and garlic ones. We're just finishing off now. And then we're gonna, um, I think she's just got some cheese ones coming. Okay, that's it guys. So we've got eight cheese and garlic, and we've got eight just cheese. So, beautiful.